everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to CrocoBlog channel. In this tutorial, we'll be working with the team members widget from Jet Elements plugin. Together, we will try to integrate a picture, embed a name, position, description, add quotes and socials. And to let your creativity roam free, we will animate the team members page and apply different hover effects. But before we start with the widget's main settings and features, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get the notifications. And in this tutorial, I will recreate all those examples that I showed before. And if you follow my steps, I can guarantee your team member section or about us page will be absolutely stunning. I bet you're interested now, so let's get started. I've already opened the page in the Elementor page builder. For the first example, let's add three inner columns. As you can see, I set those flames as a background of a main column. You can skip this step as it's optional. Now let's go to the elements panel, search for our team member widget and drag it to the first inner column. All right. There are content, style and advanced tabs on the left sidebar. Under the content tab, there is content itself and settings. Starting with the content, here we can add all the information we need including the image, name and last name, position and links to social media accounts. I will fill the information, add the member image and move on to the social networks. We can edit them here, copy or delete or add new ones. To set an icon, you can choose one in the icon library or upload your own SVG file like I did. The next, label. You can edit it and make it visible or invisible. Then add a link and choose if it's a nofollow one and if it opens in a new window. I will change the rest of the icons real quick. Below we have button text and button link. Stay tuned and I will show you how to add a button and style it a bit later in the video. Let's move on to the settings. This is what makes our team member widget special as it allows you to hide some extra details and make them pop out on hover. Let's see how it works. Toggle what elements will be displayed in cover. Now, if you want them to be invisible, toggle overlay show on hover because when untoggled, it shows everything on top of the image. The next option is overlay like a hint, meaning that the information will be displayed like a hint above the image. In this example, I'm not using any hover effects, but keep watching as I prepared some cool examples of using and styling different types of overlays. And if you don't want to wait, just click on the right timestamp in the description box below. Now we can start styling the widget. Under the general, we can set the color for the background or add an image and adjust its position and size. Also, if needed, you can add a border, change the border radius and adjust padding and margin. And here you can add a box shadow as well. As I don't need one, I'll just move on to the image. You can leave it as it is or, for example, choose custom size, where you can always adjust its height and width. Lastly, I'm adding a top padding and let's see how it looks. Awesome! Let's style name and last name. I'll choose the font family in the typography settings, adjust the size and weight. As always, you can adjust the position of the text by changing the padding, margin and text alignment. Don't forget to style the last name as well. Position. Repeat the same steps that we did before and lastly we're gonna style the social. As for the available settings, you can change the alignment, add the space between the items and change the color and the size for both normal and hover state. Keep in mind that if you choose SVG files for the icon, you won't be able to change its color. This option is available only if you choose an icon from the library. I set a bit bigger size for the hover state and added a box shadow. Under the label, you can style the label text if needed. I will skip action button and overlay and the last thing that we have here is content order and alignment. Choose what element comes first, change the order of the rest of them and pick the right content vertical alignment. So we styled only one column, let's copy it two times. I'm changing the images, names and positions, 
And at the end we have these three main Lannister family characters displayed in a cool way. Well, to be honest, I'm a big fan of House Stark. So I changed the member images, names and positions, set a different background and now let's try to add a button. I'm changing the button text to find out more and make sure you add a button link. Alright, that looks a bit ugly, so let's hurry up and move on to the style tab. Find action button here, pick a different color for the background and text and change the font family in the typography. Then I'm adding a border radius, adjusting the size and position by changing the margin and padding. Now if you want to make it look a bit interesting and not boring, set a different color for the hover state. I'll just switch the colors and add a white box shadow. Lastly, I'm repeating the same steps and adding the buttons for the next members. You can add some extra information, maybe some fun facts about your team or the things they like and make it pop out on Hover. One of the options is to use tooltips. Let's open the advanced tab. If you have a Jetrix plugin, then you can use a tooltip option. Let's toggle this on. Here you can add the description text, choose a placement, whether it's bottom, top, left or right, also set an animation effect. Offset X and Y are for changing its position. And under the style, you can change the width of the tooltip, set a color for the background, text and arrow. Also change the font family and size of the text in the typography settings and adjust the text alignment. And add a border radius if needed. I'm copying the widget and pasting it to the next column. Let's make something different here. By the way, you can make your member image round. For that, adjust the size of it and add a border radius. Now I will delete all the colors and pick a GIF as a background. That's right, you can add either text or images or even GIFs. Under the tooltip settings, I'll change the placement to right. And lastly, I'm just gonna adjust the width and add a border radius to make it round. See, it's so easy. Okay, we tried the column layout with a simple styling. What if we create something different, let's say a grid layout? I have three columns again. Let's apply our team member widget and repeat the same steps from the previous parts. Now in the settings, I toggle overlay show and hover and choose the elements that I want to hide. I'm styling everything in the style tab and finally overlay. Pick an appropriate color, adjust the padding and margin and add a border radius if needed. Then I copy the widget, paste it two times and then duplicate the whole section. To achieve the grid layout without space between the columns, make sure that when you click on the column and open the advanced tab, both margin and padding are set to zero. Let's take a final look. In this last examples, I will show you how to achieve two different hover effects. Let's try a photo to text effect. In the settings, let's toggle overlay on hover and description. I chose a famous hotter phrase and I want it to be displayed as a quote. For that, I will go to the style tab, description and adjust the size and style of the text in the typography settings. Then add right and bottom padding and finally I can style the overlay. I'm gonna add a green color, lower the opacity and then adjust the size of it. And this is how it looks. By the way, look at our Crocoblock About Us page. We also used the team member widget and added a hover effect that shows cool and funny GIFs. Do you want to make something similar on your website? Not a problem, just let me show you. Apply the widget, add all the necessary information, image and choose overlay on hover in the settings. I'm gonna also choose the description, but there will be no description visible. Because in the description settings I'll set a transparent color for the text and now we can style the overlay. Choose a GIF or an image for the background, adjust the position to the center center and size to cover. And that's it, proceed to the next team members.
That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give us a like, subscribe to our channel and check our other useful videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.